Hello, it is Madame Wario. And it's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new lie. And I'm feeling pretty darn pimp. Okay. Mighty King Bowser! I've been looking for you. Report your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's headed for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King? Goomba King wasn't thinking anything. You should have looked in his eyes. I used the star to make him a king because he made me. Aw, he made him a king. I just can't wait to be a king. You are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Yeah, really. Is that a serious question, Bowser? We beat you every time. It doesn't matter because while you hold the star rod, you are definitely invincible. You can beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. You don't even use your claws when I fi you fight us. You could not beat us with whatever. I'm not even going to get into this argument right now. By the way, Kamiku, by those star spirits we captured don't have any way of living. Oh, giving. Yeah, they have a way of living. They have a way of living if we save them. I just don't have any way of reading like a normal person. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Really? Because didn't we just have Legend of the Seven Stars and he saved all of them? Koopa Bros Fortress. Name dropping. Mario somehow reaches there. Can the Koopa Bros defeat him? Oh my gosh, I love the Koopa Bros. King Bowser, you mustn't worry. What? What? Oh, hiya! I love the Koopa Bros. They're just like the Ninja Turtles. And they're turtles. I mean, come on. Here come the Koopa Bros. Huh? Oh yeah, we're the coolest of cool. I love their music. It's so epic. Their, their like, portion of the soundtrack in this game is fantastic. Psst. Kenny Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic. Well, yeah, because you have to be huge to be powerful. Pshaw! Get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total wimpola. We're nothing like it. See what you've got going on? Alright, yeah, 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 you've got a power of teamwork. You're pretty fierce. You say Calabunga and blammo and all that jazz. Yes, ma'am! Ready, everybody? We should bust this out to a dance party. Oh, oh! Oh my god, it's an orgy. What the F? That this is... Uh. That's pretty much how I would describe that. How'd you like it? Um, I think Bowser liked it a lot, actually. He doesn't get much action. Even though he has, like, 17 wives. Oh yeah, excellent, really. I'm not easily impressed either. He's kind of hard to satisfy. Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. Oh, this has just all gone way too perverted. Oh, come on. About the captured star spirits, I've locked up in your fortress. What? Who's guarding them now? Um... Nobody, sir. We're kind of stupid. You idiots! Use your heads! Off with your heads! I just made nothing but references in this video. So here we are, on the street, on the road again. I just can't wait to get on the road again. The life I love is making falcon punches to my friends. And I can't wait to get on the road again. Okay, sleepy sheep, no. Sleepy sheep I don't really use ever. But I do jump on trampolines and get whatever's in this treasure box. Uh, open the box! Open the freaking box. Thank you. Hammer throw badge! I love the sound effect when you get a badge. That's so perfect. And here's the entrance to one of the best pieces of work in the game. Toad Town! I love Toad Town. Love Toad Town so much. Mario, I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in uproar. Yeah, it is. The castle's been janked and... Whatever. We need to save her hininess. Yep. Because she's got a big rump. What's in here? Oh my god, it's a library! Hey, dude. Hey, let me jump over. No. Hold up. Oh, salutations! You are Mario, are you not? 
Of course, I know who you are. I'm the wise toad, Rusty. Pleasure to meet you. Um, so Rusty will get involved with us more later, as he's like the guy in um, Beauty and the Beast. He's just like crazy about us. Like Belle is crazy about books. Oh no, doom, danger! Princess Peach has flown up, up into the sky. Oh, flown away. He, she's blown up. See what I mean? Dyslexic moments suck. Oh my god, there's a star piece over there that bugs me because you can't get it for the longest time. Oh, busy, busy! You've got a whole bunch of kids. That's what happens. Okay. I don't know where I was going with that. P.S. This um, lovely little tunnel. Uh, let's just go down it. Whatever. And hi, Luigi! We haven't seen this for what, like three videos? Oh well. I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Bonar? Um, he's coming into that pipe. Whoa, Mario, it's you! Good to see you! Yeah, it is. And you're alright! After all the castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so... I can see what happened to you. And here you come home with freaking Goomba with a little blue hat on. Oh, and who are you? I'm Goombario, nice to meet you. I see, great, just great. You're on an exciting venture with Mario. Talk about unfair. Because Mario can't be nice to his brother and just take him along once unless it's a freaking saga of some sort, like superstar saga. But you know, that's like not by choice. That's just him going, well, I felt kind of sorry for you. He needs to do it by choice every once in a while. Alright, so this little board in our house shows our um, rankings. Shows that we've collected 3 out of 80 badges. 3 out of 160 star peaches. Peaches? No! Never star peaches. Star pieces? Sorry. And um, we have won 15 battles so far and gotten first strike 7 times. What? Okay. Um, so yeah, that just like keeps records. And do we want to sleep? No, we don't want to sleep. And there's more to that room that we'll discover later. So, you know, we'll cover all that jazz on another day. Is there anything back here? No. No. Why is there nothing back here? Here we've got some old pipes stored. Anyway, that's Mario's house for the the majority, or the you get the feel, the gist of it. So let's head back to Toad Town. Here's the item shop where, well, one of the item shops where you can buy whatever you want and be pretty fierce about it. Here are some lovely ladies that will keep you entertained and work nights. Here's a little dojo gym that you can challenge people at. You don't really, you don't get anything out of it. You don't get like star points or anything. I mean, you do get like a card saying you've beaten the dojo or whatever. But, um, you know, that's another thing. A lot of the Toad Town stuff you don't worry about till later because there's just so much to do in Toad Town, really. So, um, whoa, star piece falling on my head. Okay. There's a house with a whirling roof. Here's a lovely garden that will be of more significance to us later. I know I've said like nothing but that. There's some really weird looking dudes. Here's a toad house. Here is the post office where you can send a million letters a day on your own time. And here is a lovely bad shop that is in the works. It's not done yet. Rolf's. Ralph's? Ralph? Whatever. Ralph. Total. Not really. That's not his name. But we're gonna pretend like it is. Um, and I'd say we'd better save so we don't have to go through all the jazz again in case my game decides to freeze up like it did once before. Not when, while I was recording, thank god, but... Merlon is out. That's Merlon's house, everyone. I love Merlon. He's pretty fierce. Let's attack the road sign. Um... So before we get down to business, I'm going to show you around. Um, basically, because uh, this right here... I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Really? I can, because she lets Bowser kidnap her for five minutes. 
Um, so here's what happened after the party. Everything's all destroyed, and it doesn't look very peachy, as a certain person would put it. Now this over here is actually my favorite, like, transition in the game. I absolutely love this, and this is probably, I would have to say, my favorite song in the game. I love this. I I can't get over that. The the way that was designed and done is like the most perfect thing in the world. I couldn't get over it as a kid. I couldn't get over it just now and I can never get over it. So, um yes, this is uh Shooting Star Summit. Uh well, we're kind of headed there. Right now we're going to some somebody else's house. What what's her name? Mer Merla. I don't know. I got to think about it. Ah, my my, hello there, Mario. This spot is a little... Wait. Oh. Yeah, she tells fortunes, and... Is she gonna tell us? I foresaw your arrival. Oh, more lovely. That's right. I knew it had, like, a luh in there, but I was kind of wrong with it. I'm stunning. I... Yeah, you are stunning. I'm a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. Isn't that everyone's calling? Um, so she can tell us where star pieces are, where a badge is, or where a super block is. Now, you if you haven't played this, you don't know what a super block is yet, and I'll explain it later. Um, and we're not going to do any of this now, because it's too soon in the game. But that's very helpful if it's the first time you've ever played this game, especially if you don't have a guide, and especially if you first played it when you were young, like I did, and, you know, didn't, um, didn't, like, have, you know, access or as much access to the internet. Now it's like you just look everything up, but, um, and this little dude right here, you can trade star pieces for badges, so... That's the whole point of star pieces. Star pieces have no other function in the game other than trading them for badges. So don't worry about saving your star pieces for anything else. You just save them for good badges that you want. So um, now that we're done at my lovely's house, I can go back to my favorite moment of cinematography or, you know, whatever you want to call that. Um, Yes, I am a person who loves the night sky. I'm obsessed with it. I love the moon, I love the stars. I can sit there staring at it forever. Meteor shower, I'm outside. As soon as it's dark, I'm like, woo, let's go. Meteor shower. Um, which is funny, because I think I've told this story before. Maybe I haven't, I don't know. But the first time I ever unlocked Eternal Star on Mario Party, there was a meteor shower outside. That was the coolest thing ever. It's perfect timing. So, um, let's go up here, take care of some business. Um, I just love this whole aspect of the game. Obviously, you know, it's about the stars, but I love the design of it. I thought it was fantastic. It's the most perfect design, in my opinion. And I gotta make sure nothing's back here, because I can't remember. But obviously, there's Eldstar waiting for us. So we're going to talk to him. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. I love this music, too. I know I pointed that out before. Where are the seven star spirits? I don't think in Mario RPG that they are um, named like this, either. So I thought that was interesting. I mean, it's been so long, I can't exactly remember. But I don't think they were. Um... The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful star haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief and can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce what? <laughs> I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Aw, poor Bowser. He's got a crush. 